Gerard, Smithy, Menuhin, born 1948 in Scotland, is a writer in Holocaust denier, whose book Tell the Truth and Shame the Devil was published in 2015. He is the son of the violinist Yehudi Menuhin and dancer Diana Rosamond Gould, and brother of pianist Jeremy Menuhin. Background Born in July 1948 in Scotland, United Kingdom, he is the son of Jewish parents, the violinist Yehudi Menuhin and dancer Diana Rosamond Gould. He attended Eton College, completing his studies at Stanford University in California. The brother of the pianist Jeremy Menuhin, Gerard decided that he didn't want to follow in the footsteps of his father or brother and decided to enter into acting. In London's Mermaid Theatre, he landed a role in the Eric Kastner piece Emile and the Detectives. In December 1970, when Menuhin was 22, he and his father temporarily lost their American citizenship after they were granted Swiss citizenship, as American law at the time did not permit dual citizenship. In 1985, he published his first book, a novel, Elmer, which was panned by critics. Menuhin was, until November 2005, the CEO of the German chapter of the Yehudi Menuhin Foundation. He was representative of the Menuhin family on the board of the Menuhin Festival Gestad in Gestad, Switzerland. In June 2007, he took up the post as president of the Yehudi Menuhin Foundation in Grenchen, Switzerland. Since 2009, there is no indication to be found of Menuhin's continuing administrative position with the Menuhin Festival Gestad. He has previously worked for Menuhin IP Management GmbH, Menuhin IP Management Ltd Liabcio, Menuhin IP Management Sarl, in Skoflisdorf which owns the official Yehudi Menuhin website. The content of the website, however, is controlled by two of Yehudi Menuhin's other children, Jeremy Menuhin and Zamora Menuhin Benthal, as directors of Sim Music Company Limited. Controversy over extremist views Like his grandfather, Moshe Menuhin, the great-great-grandson of Schnur Zalman of Lyadai, the founder of Chabad Hasidism, he considers himself anti-Zionist. Until 2005, his political views had barely registered with the outside world even though he has a regular column in the Munich-based ultranationalist National Zeitung. Because of Gerard Menuhin's extremist or nationalistic utterances, he was relieved of his post as chairman on November 12, 2005 by the Yehudi Menuhin Foundation Germany. The London Times Berlin correspondent Roger Boys reported a few days later, that Menuhin had outed himself as a clear sympathizer with the neo-Nazi cause in two interviews he gave. In Deutsche Stimme the newspaper of the far-right National Democratic Party of Germany, NDP, he used classical anti-Semitic language while still staying within the boundaries of German law. Apart from a few curious comments about America, we weren't really aware of his politics, Winfried Niep, YMF's chief executive, said. Alarmed by press reports, from the Spiegel website among others, the foundation took notice, that Gerard Menuhin had given interviews to the National Zeitung writing a column named Menuhin and how he sees the world, and also in the newspaper of the far-right NDP's Deutsche Stimme, German Voice. In November 2014, Israeli media referred Menuhin as an example of a Jewish anti-Semite and anti-Israel extremist. An article in the Jerusalem Post asserted that he authored columns in the National Zeitung, a paper infamous for its neo-Nazi and right-wing extremist ideas. He has also provided a fiercely anti-Israel interview with the pro-Iranian regime extremist German language website, Muslim Marked. Gerard Menuhin's book, Tell the Truth and Shame the Devil, was published in 2015. According to Menuhin, the Holocaust is the biggest lie in history and Germany has no blame for the Second World War. Private Life Menuhin married Eva Struvenberg in New York in March 1983, the daughter of Albert Struvenberg from Seattle. 
In 1990, he and Eva had one child together, Maxwell Duncan Menuhin, but later divorced. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.